Alright guys, today we are going to be reacting to the reason why women will always make you wait. Jump in. Oh, what? So you're telling me, Q, you've never encountered a girl who's like, every single girl, isn't your body count? Well, I don't want to, okay, I'm not going to reveal anything. <laughs> you're, every single girl you've dated, you, you f*** all of them right away. Yeah. First or second, every single one. There's never been a girl who was like, oh, I'm no way. I could probably tell you it, why she's like that. Why who? Why the girl is making you wait. I feel like it's probably because every other guy before that has probably not taken her seriously, <laughs> even when you just sleep with her. So she probably just got exhausted about it. Sure. And she's probably Ooh, just trying to move. break the cycle. Uh, and it probably has nothing to do with you. Probably mm -hmm. just the fact that every guy yeah, before that. I, I told Brian's you that. Point. I completely agree. Yeah. I no, told wait, you that. That's Brian's point. That Fuck makes yeah. Brian's point. That's that's, point. that's faking virtue. Mm -hmm. Is that it would, or but, is it faking but virtue? That, but that's what I said. I don't think earlier. she's wrong. I don't think she's oh, wrong. I, I, I mean, she's trying to protect herself. No, I said you perfect. You you were well within your right to say nah. Fuck that. I don't. I'm not waiting. Yeah. But but I said they be going on these little self healing journeys and they're tired. No, I don't think self healing. I think it's she's trying to protect herself from another asshole. It's a lot of self healing journeys too. Yeah. Yeah. It's a self healing journey. Yeah. So it's on. So so it's fake. That would be faking virtue. Yeah. So that like that moves right into this this idea. So the idea here is just, hey, I'm not going to do this because I think it'll give me a different outcome. Not because I'm going to do this for some type of like um, higher reason or because I don't want to sleep with this guy. It's just like, I'm going to try something different because it'll give me a different outcome. So now I'm not going to sleep with that. That I think is faking virtue. But I think like, that's what that is. How is it faking though, if that's how she feels? I think virtue is like a, that's, that's kind of a loaded word. And, and yeah. like, it's, I think mm -hmm. there's the clear, I think there's a little bit of confusion in a way. Like, I think a woman could see a cycle in her past of, okay, I keep sleeping with these men. And really? Really, they can see a cycle in their past, man. Attraction is not a choice, folks. Attraction is not a choice. You feel attracted. I mean, and that's it. That's why there's a lot of techniques to seduce females, man. It's because it's, you know what to trigger, what not to trigger. And these females are always trying to pretend that they're not, that they don't have these kind of impulses. It's crazy. I'm not getting the outcome that I want. So here comes along this guy. Let me switch up my pattern because I want a different outcome. <laughs> yeah, right. Not because all of a sudden homegirl picked up a Bible and decided she wants to be the next Mary. Mm -hmm. Why? Yeah, yeah, but but we would agree, right? And so I agree. I, so let me kind of give you an olive branch. I agree that virtue can be a very loaded word. I don't think, though, that you and I are speaking past agree. each other when we use the word. I think we would probably use it kind of the same way. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think we would. In this case, though, with, uh, with Brian, th this is actually making his point either way. Mm -hmm. So if you say she's just doing this because she's working on herself for a different outcome, he's like, well, what the fuck? I get, I'm the guy who gets screwed over here, right? I'm yes. the guy who gets left behind. Mm -hmm. uh, so that would make his point. Or the alternative to this is I'm doing this because I want you to think differently of me. Uh, even though I want to do this, and that would be faking virtue. So, mm. so like I okay. said, it's it's like a double-edged sword. It is this question. That's why I don't have a great answer for it. Well, I don't think anyone's disagreeing with 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 Brian's uh, view, right? Yeah, I'd be um, so annoyed if I were a guy and she wasn't putting yeah. out. Fuck. Yeah, right. Um, but it's like at the same time. Um, so, so for you, the faking part would be just because like she wants to do it, but she doesn't because of her own personal reasons. What Is about like self control? No, no, no. That wouldn't be the faking. That that wouldn't be the faking virtue okay. scenario. Yeah, okay. that would be the Brian just feels like he's getting fucked over because why me? Right. Why, mm, why, yep. why do I have yep. to be the guy you start this with? Right. right. Yeah, so because now be now you put in these boundaries when you gave the most important assets, which is your low 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 body count. And notice this, she wanted to put boundaries after she gave already her most valuable asset. Isn't that funny? And guess what? She's putting those boundaries in the fact that guys isn't even taking those boundaries. She's not attracted to that guy anymore. It's just the conundrum is kind of crazy. I'm going to put those boundaries and you have to respect those boundaries. 
right? But at the same time that you're respecting those boundaries, I don't want you to respect the boundaries because I'm not attracted to that. Isn't that crazy? It's very crazy. You you end up the crazy. The virtue part. Okay. The faking virtue part would be if you were like, okay, uh, I have changed my moral just system, and that's why I'm not doing this right uh, with you. So, and they're only they're they're only really faking the moral system part because they want the guy to think differently of them. Mm -hmm. So, so that's that's the double edged question here. So they're only changing their views for that one person, but not for everybody else. Is that what you're saying? What? Well, no, they're just they're just basing it on how they're perceived. So I'm changing okay. this behavior because this guy or these groups of yeah. guys or whatever will perceive me differently. That would be the faking virtue. Yeah, so it's like on it's not the other a genuine. End of it, the other end of it, from the secular end of it, let's say, um, the idea would just be, well, that's fucked up. How come I get the short end of the stick? And John over there, right, he got the all-you-could-eat buffet night one. <laughs> Why do I have to get the crumbs from Longshank's table, right, when I want the whole country, right? That's the that's like that, that would be the basic kind of um, uh, objection here, right? And let me let me just respond to Brian because Brian 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 my homie, but I'm just I was just curious like the that's NCAA. a very smooth uh, transition from the Benedict Arnold I saw <laughs> mere minutes ago. It was it was an honest inquiry. Yeah, it was yeah, an yeah, honest yeah, inquiry, yeah. Andrew. Brother, but I'm just saying. Brother. Um, you 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 asked like surely I've dated women who probably done that. All the women that I've taken serious, like the last three women that I dated had a combined body count of three. My last two girlfriends were virgins, mm. so yeah, I like the see. And this is what I don't like about the uh, the manosphere. See, this is a problem, folks. I have to I have to disagree with this because now we're we're basically homemakers, virgins. For here you are. I don't I don't think that's a good practice. My humble opinion, I don't think that's a good practice, folks. But now you mess it up for everybody. I don't know. I just don't I just don't get it. You, now what well, why why are we doing what we're doing? I might be wrong. Let me know in the comment section below. I might be wrong. Innocent type of women. My body count oh, yeah. didn't come from me pursuing women. Women have thrown themselves at me. Remember, I made the shade room. I was one of the zaddies. I had over 5,000 women in my DM. Women like, oh, my God. Da -da -da -da. I'm not the guy to always say no. You know, I take them up on the offer sometimes. They've driven themselves out. They've flown themselves out. I didn't pay for anything. So that's mm -hmm. typically what it comes from. But the women I approach... I typically it's the innocent type, the wholesome type, the yeah, girl who's yeah. sitting in the corner reading a book. She doesn't party. She doesn't club. I like those women. Yeah, sure. I mean, I agree with you in terms of my, uh, you know, interest in women. I prefer those kinds of women. But I, you know, I've also, like, and also I'm pretty open about this. Have I encountered this in my own dating life? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I've encountered women uh, who, I don't know. I don't know how many times, bro. Just enough, bro. Enough. It's. Yeah, just I mean, dude, it's just like. I mean, have you? Maybe you haven't had that happen, but you've dated a girl <laughs> where it's like, bro. This you is can some go bullshit. see me on the shade room. You can literally go look me up on the shade room. That, that I'm, I'm still up there, fifty thousand likes. No, but what do you? But I mean, you've never you've encountered some girl that's like, this is some fucking like you're dealing with some bullshit scenario. Yeah. With a girl. Yeah. And so I've. I've encountered it, I don't know, a handful of times, right? Mm -hmm. um, and, I mean, you said, well, these girls will fly out. But I've had that too, right? Mm -hmm. But I remember when I was on the dating apps, and I might encounter this, or I remember uh, even a girl who, I, I had a girl. Um, Bro, land the, like, come on, come on, she, come on, come on. Uh, she come on, we have to land the plane here, man. No, no, we have to land the plane. The plane is just, just you know. It's flying around, but it's not landing. We have to land the plane, folks. Oh, slid into my DMs, came here, mm -hmm. uh, drove two hours from LA to come see me. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And she told me, oh, yeah, you know, I've had hookups, blah, 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 whatever. So did they do that and still try to make you wait? Is that what you're saying? Like, she, like. Yeah, this girl who drove two hours to come and see uh -huh. me slid into my DMs, um, wasn't religious, didn't seem to have any, uh, there was no religious component there. She was like, well, um, she's, she admitted to having had several one-night stands. Mm -hmm. And then she said, well, 
now that I'm a bit older, I want to wait until I'm in love. Yeah. I'm like, bro. Okay, yeah. I ain't okay. waiting. No, I How long that. is it going to take for you to fall at like six months? Yeah. I'm not. Yeah, no, it's a three. It has to be a three, the three day rule. One, two, three. By the third one, now she's playing game. Now you, you're, now you're not in. Now the game is not in your court, so you have to let it go. So it has to be the three, three, the three day rule. First one, you just warming things up. You know, you do your kid escalation. You know, you try for the kiss. Let her know her intentions right away. Second time, you you go for the kill. You know that way you can set it up for the third day. By the third day, you know, if it's not on, I'm sorry, that's it. Right, that's, I think that's that's the mentality, right? And the reason you want to do that is because in, with all men, they do this kind of mistake. They don't put their intentions right away. And I think it's, it comes from the human aspect of it, that we are just simply afraid of rejection. I, that's understandable. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. We'll see you in the next one. I'm out.